YouTube. I just set up my camera. I get that all right, right up, set up in the set up my couch. I've been meaning to do this review. I went and saw a sneak peek of Letters to Juliet yesterday for the Mother's Day sneak peek thing. So I got to go see that. And uh, I'm going to review it for you because that's what I do, right? And my dog might be jumping up here in a minute, so yeah. Anyway, Letters to Juliet, I'll summarize it for you, is about a girl, an American girl, who goes on a, like a pre-honeymoon trip with her fiancé. And what ends up happening is that he's opening a restaurant and he's kind of oblivious to everything. <laughs> and it, to be honest, he kind of annoyed me a little bit, but he's oblivious to everything and so she ends up touring Italy by herself. As he goes and meets manufacturers and suppliers and stuff for his restaurant. Um, she ends up finding this wall where lovers leave their letters for Juliet. And she follows this woman who takes all those notes off and she follows her and she's like, what are you doing? She's like, we write back to all of them. She becomes Sophie, the main girl, becomes enthralled with them. She starts writing them. She finds one that's 50 years old and miraculously still in great condition, enough to read it at least. And she realizes she might, she must write back. And so she does, and she ends up being Claire, and uh, the woman who wrote the letter 50 years ago, and meets Claire and her grandson, Claire's grandson, and they go and try and find Lorenzo, Claire's lost love. In a nutshell, that's the movie. And to be honest with you, I liked it. I thought it was pretty clever for a story, and I liked it quite a bit. Um, the reason I went to this was because I was going to actually go to it anyway this weekend. I am a Amanda Seyfried fan. I'll go see anything she's in. It doesn't matter. Um, so, but when I saw an advanced screening, I decided why not. And it was a pretty cheap ticket, too. It was cheaper than if I went this weekend. So, I went to it yesterday, and I was pleasantly surprised. It was a pretty packed theater, too, which I didn't think that many people knew about it, but okay. But it, I was pleasantly surprised. It's your average romance movie. Girl is, you know, girl meets boy. They don't like each other at first. He kind of, they insult each other back and forth. Near the middle of it, they warm up to each other. By the end of it, they're completely head over heels in love with each other. In a nutshell, that's Lars and Juliet and every other romance movie out there. But there was something about it, sickeningly sweet and charming, accompanied by a sappy romance song by Taylor Swift, who, which is unfortunately catchy as all get out. And you got yourself Lars to Juliet. It's not bad. Like I keep saying, it's not awful. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, absolutely cliché to the, riddled with clichés. And absolutely sappy and just typical. And a total chick flick. Not in the date sense. If you're a guy and you go see it, you are going to, if you're not gay, you're going to hate going to see it. You wouldn't want to go. It's a total chick flick. And being a girl, I did enjoy it. It was very charming and sweet. Although, yeah, definitely cliche. I can totally see that. Um, I'd give it a th solid 3 out of 5. Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, check it out. It's probably gone on as better than uh, the backup plan. So, <laughs> you know, go see it. Also, the it's set in Italy, and it's gorgeous scenery and cinematography. It's just fantastic for that reason, too. And, uh, yeah, the acting, and it's great. You got M Vanessa Redgrave. I mean, come on. She's fantastic. If you've seen Nip Tuck, she's awesome on it, isn't she? And, uh, you got Amanda Seyfried, who's fantastic. And then the guy who plays the British guy, uh, the girl, the guy he, she hates at first and falls in love with. Uh, Christopher Egan. I've never seen him before, but he was pretty good. But, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a decent movie. It's a decent romance, and I'm excited to see the advanced screening of it. This is my surprise video for you guys. And, um, yeah, check it out. This video needs to end now, I know, but, you know, I don't know when it's going to end soon. As for Blu-ray updates, I keep teasing you guys, right? I mean, I keep saying every video, oh, there's going to be a Blu-ray update soon. And who knows, there could be one by the weekend. There probably will be one by the weekend. I've got three new ones to show you. And, uh, yeah, I've been busy with school and stuff, so I haven't been able to make this video until now. But yeah, let me wrap this up. Lars to Juliet, 3 out of 5, total chick flick. If you're a guy, you probably won't like it at all. Uh, the acting is pretty good in it, and it's a solid movie. What more do you need? 
There's my review for Lars and Juliet. Hope you enjoyed it. My dog just uh, caught me off guard. She was making a weird noise and trying to make a bed on the ground. So, yeah. End of this video. Hope you enjoyed it.